is now I am going to discuss about uh, vertebral column. Uh, previously, you discussed about uh, skull, skull bones, and cranial bones, which are the completely Marabuda. skull and cranial bones, facial bones, all the things. Right now, vertebral column. The vertebral column, which is present in our dorsal side, the mid dorsal side is present. It starts from the the end of the skull and the whole wall, the back. That is the trunk is mostly composed of this vertebral column only. In human vertebral column, twenty six vertebrae are there. Twenty six vertebrae are there. These vertebrae, each means what between the two vertebrae. The disc are pad, which is made of the cartilage. Cartilage. We have twenty six vertebrae there. These all together we call as a vertebral column. They are one to another. They are joined. In between, we can find the disc or the pad, which is made of the cartilage. We call as the these discs. Are the parts called as the intervertebral discs? Inter intervertebral disc. These are present. It provides the vertebral column to the flexibility for the movement. They will give the flexibility. Now these. Vertebral column. In each vertebrae, we can find the hollow structure, which provides the space that spinal cord runs through the this hollow part. We call as the neural canal. This is the spinal cord. Which runs through the canal. Okay, the vertebral column is a bony structure which is a halo. It provides the protection to the spinal cord. And moreover, the our head is rest on our vertebral column. And moreover, the the vertebral column gives the connections to the ribs. Connects to the ribs. Now here see the complete total uh, complete twenty six. Vertebrae are divided into four parts. Here, see the first one is the cervical cervical vertebrae and thoracic thoracic vertebrae. And third division is lumbar. And fourth division is Sacral and last one is the coccyx. These are the four divisions. Here, in generally, if you use the term here neck region, the location of cervical or the neck region, number of vertebrae in the adult and newborn. If you newborn also, you can see the seven. And adult also have a seven, seven in number. Thoracic, which we call as the chest region, chest region, right? Chest region, which number are the twelve in the newborn and adult also twelve in number. This is the number. We call it as the abdomen region. Abdomen region. These are five in number, both adult and and infant also. And sacral. This is the after abdomen. That's known as the pelvic region. Which number in infants five in number. Whereas the adult number is the one, and this is the last tail region. 
simply called as the tail region in the pelvic ear neck chest abdomen and pelvic and end of this one is the tail region these number also here seven plus seven plus twelve here nineteen nine plus five are the twenty four twenty four plus five are the thirty twenty four plus twenty nine twenty nine plus here four are the thirty three here in the one now these are the total thirty three and adult are the twenty six here seven plus twelve here nineteen nineteen plus five twenty four twenty four plus five twenty nine twenty nine plus four which are the coccyx these are the thirty three but here adult these are fused as one one now coming to this so cervical vertebrae these are the seven in adult these are the small in number even giraffe also the cervical vertebrae number are the seven only but they are longer that's why giraffe in a case longer than remaining animals so here these are the small first vertebrae is the atlas Second one is the axis. Now here see atlas have a one depression. The depression called as the odontoid pen. Sorry, odontoid process. Odontoid process and axis that atlas have a. wooden toid the pec like a depression axis have a wooden toid process wooden toid process it means if it is the for example if it is the atlas it have depression right and wooden toid process which is present in the axis in this it will be articulate in such way right so odontoid peg present in the atlas axis are the odontoid process they will be fused together these are the small cervical nerves vertebrae and thoracic are the chest there you know these give a connection to the ribs which are the top pair ribs these are the somewhat larger these are the number Lumbar are the five. Lumbar are the five number, which are the largest and strongest vertebrae in the human are the lumbar. And sacral, sacrum is sacrum have a in the males. If you compare the male and female in the female, this is the wider and shorter in the females than the males sacrum wider and shorter in the female than the male and coccyx there this is a tail last one it is uh, ends in the end of the pelvic region and moreover these have curvatures there we call as a cervical curvature the complete curvatures are there i'm ready here what are the curvatures there this curvature is called as the cervical curvature cervical curvature are the cervical curve vertebral curvatures are there this curve is when you see the vertebral column from the side view this and the neck region the curvature that uh, convex convex region is the forward convex forward convex convex is the forward here it means when you see that this is a forward convex next thoracic is backward curved convex and lumbar is the forward convex and these two are the pelvic curvatures i'm ready here this is a cervical curve cervical curve 
this is a thoracic curve and this one is a lumbar curve last one is a here see forward convex forward and backward forward you again have a backward this is the pelvic curve vertebral column consists of the front side view four curvatures sagittal curvature which is the forward convex and thoracic is the backward convex and lumbar is shows the forward convex and the pelvic is the that is also backward convex region so because of this when the child after birth he want to investigate the surroundings due to that time this should be forward that neck region should be forward and thoracic while the child is crawling with the hands and legs that's why have a backward convex will be there in the thoracic region anyhow we have a that formula is a c7 and thoracic is a 12 and lumbar are the five and sacral one fused and coccyx is a so one fused right so cervical thoracic lumbar and sacral coccyx here 7 plus 12 are the 19 minus 24 25 26 total are the 26 with the base present the vertebral column i hope you understood this vertebral column thank you